Opa Canal. Opa Canal. Opa I'm ready for it. Yes, Caribbean people, I catch me. This time you catch me in the right place. I'm in the kitchen. I'm actually preparing a lovely meal for the family. Mr. Daraya here is going to help me talk you through what we're going to be having. Over here, we have some lentils. I'm going to be making a nice spice lentils. That's going to be served with our filet of fish, which is right now you can see it here, quick marinade, there's a bit of ginger, garlic, there's some spring onion, there's a hint of curry in there also, your black pepper and salt. To that, we're going to pan it, but I'm going to be doing a bit different way, we're going to be finishing it with a nice spice plantain crust. This is going to be really special. For our starter, all the trimmings from the vegetables, I've boiled them down here with some bay leaf, with some nice vegetable stock. I'm going to make a lovely hearty Caribbean soup. Serve that up with a nice coriander oil, nice bread. That's the starter. These are just our vegetables that we, that's going to accompany the fish. We have some batons of sweet potato, pumpkin, some new potatoes, and a red onion. So stay tuned, you can have a little peep of what I'm doing. Jaya, you got anything to say to them? Alright. Tell them what is here? Onions. <laughs> it nice? <laughs> Yeah, check it back in a bit. <laughs> I'm moving back to the spice lentils now. The lentils, they've just been boiling in some water with garlic, a bit of ginger, some spring onions. Just until it's soft and nice. You can see, you can see it on the spoon here, you know, just breaking in my hand. To finish that, we're gonna add a spice element. Here I have some roasted, toasted exotic spices there's a bit of fennel in there there's coriander seeds there's some cumin in there this is gonna add a nice difference to the lentils you, you, you're beginning to visualize you're beginning to see it we are nearly there my people my Caribbean people it's soon coming time for you to watch me eat <laughs> so just gonna chop up some of these chilies here Actually toasting this off so the flavors, those natural flavors from the spices are gonna be coming out. So break them up a bit. Really let that come out. So the next the next stage with the lentils is once this is done and it's ready, I'm gonna bring this forward here so you can see. Turn the heat up a bit. I'm gonna put that straight in. This piece now is going to pick up that full, nice spice flavor. I'm going to bring this down. Take it back here now. Blow the fire down. We're just going to correct the seasoning with that. It's finished. Simple as. So I'm just going to make a nice quick sauce that is going to accompany the dish. This is going to bring it together. It's similar to the Jamaican rundown. So we're going to be adding a bit of onion, garlic into the pan. Slightly salted that in the pan there. Just until it starts to get a bit soft. Yeah, so we're just going to add some fresh thyme into this and allow that to gently fry up. Very similar to the callaloo, but we're just not going to be adding all the ingredients. This is going to be a nice sauce that will bring 
our dish together and really enjoy that. <laughs> Weather is fine out there. Add the rest of the cold. Spinach is very healthy for you know, so it's wherever I can bring it into a dish, I can bring vegetables into a dish or sneak it in without the masses knowing it's a good way of you know just making healthy healthier Caribbean people and that's what we want. We want less disease, we want more strength and power. So this is gonna be just left there for a bit. Also in this I, I do not want the okros and stuff to you know to disintegrate and break down. I, I want a little bite in there so I'm not gonna carry this too far. Next step is just adding some of the coconut milk. Simple as that. Once your vegetables are boiled down into your blender there's a bit of coriander green seasoning in there. You have a nice Lovely, hearty Caribbean soup. That's good stuff. Here it is. The soup, all of them to finish this off is add a bit of coconut milk to this. Bring it together, bit of garnish. All you need some good homemade bread or beaks or fruits, dumplings. You know what I'm talking about. So, hearty Caribbean soup, there's a bit of sweet potato, there's pumpkin in there, peppers, lovely, some nice bread. Yeah, so we're coming back to the fish. So the fish has really taken in that marinade, it's been sitting there quite a few hours now. Here is where we're going to be putting that crust on. We're going to be using a method called pane, where fish or the meat will go into seasoned flour, then into egg, then into the final planting press. So we have in here, this is just all the marinades here, so all, all we have in here is a little bit of salt, and pepper, we have egg mixture, now this is, it really gets messy on the fingers so Put that in there, and then the next step from here is to take it and put it into the bread, the plantain crust. I'm gonna just lightly beat that down on one side, put some on top. Just gonna take off the, the excess, and then you rest your fish aside. Look at that, lovely. This is going to protect the fish, but it's also going to bring a nice sweet flavor to accompany that spice you're going to be getting from the lentils. It's going to be, you know, balancing the flavors, the yin, the yang. It's going to taste that piece of fish in here now. You're just going to lightly fry this about two, three to four minutes on each side until it's lovely, golden, and cooked. So it's come to that time. It's time to plate up the dish. As you see, I've already started here. What we have here first is the spice lentils. Just using a ring. Just gonna put a bit of peppers in there. And a nice little crunch in it. What we have here, medallions of the sweet potato, just going to be placing them around there and on top of that is the roasted pumpkin. Then we take our ring off, get a nice piece of fish, drop that over there, 
and then we get a lovely sauce and we're just gonna be putting bits of that bits of that around the dish so we're just gonna finish this up with a caramelized red onions some balsamic vinegar and spot of lime filet of fish plant encrusted and a bed of spiced lentils kalaloo rundown sauce and roasted Caribbean vegetables time to eat people